being a pirate isn't easy. Other players spit on you, and banks refuse your service. On top of that, pirates can only train skills and obtain items in the following areas. Unless, of course, we find any maps to buried treasure. Any quests that unlock new ports or islands are fair game, including all of the pirate-themed ones. I have chosen to write these tales down because someone must know the truth if I perish in the chambers of Zarek. My name is Ingus, and this is the story of how I became King of the Pirates. I spent a week on the beach catching Crimson Swifts, all the way to 50 Hunter, and now I had the level required to catch Echolectic Implings, which, when caught, have a 1 in 10 chance of dropping 4 noted oak planks. If I could find these Echolectic Implings, I'd be able to upgrade my house and build certain pieces of furniture used for storing some of my items. This is absolutely necessary before my journey progresses further, or else I risk clogging up my inventory too much to train construction efficiently. If I have a way to store some of my items, I will be safeguarding myself from a big headache later on. Of course, things never really work out for me in the way that I plan, but I'm sure you already know that by now. Chapter 10, Impling Extravaganza. All right, laddies, we are heading to test this 50 hunter out. The only place that I know of for sure that has implings is the Karamja mine. So that's where we're headed. All right, first things first though, I actually dropped my butterfly net from before. So there we go. Man, getting to the Karamja mine is actually like one of the hardest places to get to in the game right now. Uh, mostly because it's just in the middle of everything there's nothing really close to it that we can teleport with all right we just need to oh oh there he is okay um i mean it's just a young impling but if we just keep catching these um this is not supposed to happen one second so it looks like i'm gonna need 60 hunter to be able to catch them barehanded and that is almost triple the xp that i currently have on the bright side we now have the ability to catch horned grocks and these should be <laughs> these should be significantly more xp per hour than the crimson swifts so i don't think we'll have to go back there to be honest i've never done these i don't know anyone who's ever done these i don't know why you would do these but we're gonna have to find out all right so it looks like you just put the logs here and then I think you have to like tease these. Yeah, you tease them and you jump over the pit and then they fall in. Easy. Okay, how much XP? 240. Wow, that is almost, that's like 10 Crimson Swifts right there. Now these things do actually attack you while you're hunting them. So I think I'm gonna go and get some better armor. But first, we have this beginner clue, and I want to do it, so let's get to it. And I always get, I always freaked, get out freaked out by these balloons. What? You are very welcome, Mr. Prison Pete, and are those snapdragons? What? <laughs> wow, um, well that's a shame. Um, there's no way we can use those right now. Back to the clue. Uh, it's one of these for a beginner clue. So that's how Jagex thinks of the free folk. This isn't that much different than looking for treasure, right? Shouldn't be too hard. All right, here's the casket, and it only took like 20 minutes. Hey, 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 hey. 
Okay, so for whatever reason, I just had a bunch of runes in my inventory, so I'm just gonna use them up right here. That's a lot of gems. I'm gonna go grab a chisel and get some free crafting XP. Oh, wait a second. I remember why I went here. Okay, so we just need this gold bar. And back over here, we're gonna need a amulet mold. And now that we can access Nada's Knot, it'll actually be a lot easier to make some amulets because we have these balls of wool. Okay, I know what you're thinking. I just ask, do not judge me. This is exactly, this is, this is exactly what it looks like. I'm sorry. That's right. We are about to make the first ever amulet of defense in all of Gilinor. Look at these bonuses. Just look at these bonuses. These horned grocks are not gonna hit sh yard. So I was thinking before we do the grocks, I think I'm gonna try and use up these feathers at Shiloh Village because we need some fishing levels anyways. And we're gonna need a lot of food when we're hunting. Yeah, I'm gonna need to use up 21K feathers. All right, so we now have our fishing rod and we're oh. gonna run into another obstacle. Well, I guess you can't fish with these, so our only other option is to use these for fletching. But if we're gonna get 20,000 arrow shafts, I think we're gonna have to get a better axe. So here's the plan. Last time we needed an axe, we had to go get a mithril one from Red Dragons. That was the best axe that we could use. But now that we have ice trolls unlocked, there are still some roaming around Jadezo, which is a good thing for us because they drop adamant axes. The first thing I'm gonna need is a Fremnic round shield. Otherwise I'm gonna get pummeled by these trolls. And really I should be using this over the Mithril Kite Shield anyways because the stats are actually a bit better, surprisingly. Mmm, slamming. And we can sell our Mithril Kite Shield here for 1.5k. Instead of going onto the battlefield north of here, I think I'm gonna explore the mine. Honestly, I don't think I... <laughs> Again, I don't think I've ever seen anyone down here. Man, there have been a lot of discoveries in this episode. You know, these trolls aren't really that bad. Yeah, this rune skimmy is not cutting it. The nice thing about these is there's actually a food store like really close by. Oh, no way. No way. No freaking way. I was not expecting to get this, man. Well, this solves the problem of the shield for sure. Honestly, the iron axe can't be that bad, can it? Yeah, there's just no way. There's no way. It's been like two minutes for 12 logs. I guess I could try oak. I mean, there's 57 wood cutting. I wasn't even thinking about this, but it kind of looks like I'm procrastinating from Hunter. I promise you, I would never do that. I mean, come on, give me a break. I just caught like 2000 Crimson Swifts. What is this swirling crop? Wait a second, hold the snail. I may not be the most focused person in the world, but sometimes my impulsivity really does come in handy. There's only one way to find out what's on the other side. Where am I? Whoa, this place is amazing. Welcome to Pearl Pearl. I'm Elnock. If you want to catch inklings, here are some jars to get started. 
Yo ho ho. Thanks, man. I'm gonna get started right away. Wait, I forgot to mention. I can only give you these once. Eh, he'll figure it out. Let's see what we get here. Gold bars. Gold bars. Okay. <laughs> Gold ore. Cool. Oh, what? Mithril pickaxe. That's way better than an iron one. Here's another one. Addy ore. I mean, we can't really do anything with it, but it's still cool to get. <gasps> oh, yes. Yes, I knew these drop medium clue scrolls. I think the drop rate's like 1 in 25. And so it begins again. Yes, dude, this has been a crazy, crazy roundabout way to get oak planks. I'm amazed that I'm actually here right now. Before I go any further, I had no idea there was a Pearl Pearl entrance within my restricted zone. Talk about some luck. Just imagine if I hadn't noticed that when I was cutting those oak trees. Oh, whoa, you could get wild pies from here. I don't know if that's any use to me, but it adds five levels to your Slayer level. And we can't really... <laughs> None of those matter, but it'll definitely be really useful in the future. Ooh, an adamant kite shield. I mean, it would have been useful earlier, but um, we have the rune one, so probably just elk that. try out this medium clue scroll that way we can keep getting more while we're hunting bees i'm just back in relica to get some nature runes so i can elk some of this stuff luckily we have this little island here and i have all these law runes so anytime we want we can exchange our law runes for nature runes all right next clue hey kid you want to try some moonlight mid uh what's in it just a little uh just a little magic fungus um, I'm okay for now, maybe next time. I'll just take the clue. Man, this place was way out here, but uh, here we go. Step, uh, step four. I hope this is the last one. Okay, one more. Ahoy there, Chieftain Brunt. I mean, it could have been a lot worse, but wait, wait a second. That's a U short bow. I can't buy one of those. So that is good. Back in Pearl Pearl, we can exchange these jars of implings for more jars. So technically we'll never run out. All right, so I have nine jars. Let's go ahead and open these. All right, so we have made it up to 20 planks. So in order to use these oak planks, I need a few more construction levels, which means we're gonna need some inventory space. And one of those plans is to get rid of those feathers. Hopefully things will be a bit smoother from here on out and we can finally start accomplishing more. Wow, we really lucked out with this place. Without the free impling jars from this dude, we'd have to get 10 more hunter levels, which would totally suck. So I'm so glad that I don't have to do that. Heh <laughs> I'll have what he's having. 